DME solution for our, our slants, which we use to cultivate the different yeast strands on. It's basically right now, it's 500 milliliters of water, 50 grams light DME, and it's going to be two packages of unflavored gelatin. Get them all stirred up. We're going to get this boiling for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to cool it down. And we're going to start making slants. Riveting TV. The green gloves are optional at this point. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get it on the stove, get it going. Check back in 15 minutes. See how she does. Good. Okay, so basically what I have is I have a uh, selection of clean um, test tubes. I prefer the test tubes with the threads on them. Yeah. As you can see here. Um, they're easier, they're better, the, the tops don't pop off when you're fermenting. Um, but the, I, did, I also have a selection of these that I got free from work, so beggars can't be choosers. They were throwing them out. Um, so this is just a standard um, 60 milliliter syringe. If you, you know, you got to be able to get these pretty much anywhere. Everything's been um, cleaned and sanitized. So now I'm going to take some of our solution that we, we made earlier that's still piping hot. Pull it up into the syringe. And I'm going to fill these up approximately a third of the way. Very scientific. <laughs> so it's approximately what, 10 milliliters per two, um, I think it is? It's looking more like 15 okay. milliliters of two. I'll tell you right now, the first time we did this, we used a funnel in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. that was... Do not want to do it that way. Absolutely painful. This is the way to go. And uh, this is pretty much all there is to it. Check back in in a couple minutes. It'll be like TV. The magic of TV, these will all be filled and ready to go into the uh, next step. Good. Okay, so here we have our pot on the stove. It's our standard boil kettle. Um, and what we have is we have all our slants standing straight up. Got our caps. We're actually making some petri dishes so AJ can cultivate some wild yeast that hopefully won't infect our whole household. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a top on this and we're going to get this boiling, creating steam. And uh, we're going to leave it for 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes to make sure. If you have a pressure cooker, Pressure cooker is better, by all, uh, by all means, but we don't have one. This is an acceptable way. This is the way we've always done it. We've not had any slants get contaminated due to sanitation. Knock on wood. All right, check back with you in 20 minutes or so. So here we are, close boil. Everything's coming out of the uh, pot. Now notice we just had just enough water in the pot just to come up a little bit, not to cover the uh, petri dishes we made. Um, there's quite a bit of moisture in there that'll just drop out and it'll all solidify, it's gonna be fine. Um, there's our test tubes, there's our caps. AJ's gonna now take a test tube out and a cap, just touching the sides of the cap. Taking just this, gonna cap it and just a little side. Gonna so that. AJ's gonna take a cap now. Try not and to touch the test it. tube, not touching either the side or the top. And really, I'm talking and I shouldn't be. Um, really want to keep your breathing and, and breath to a minimum. And that's all there is to it. And then I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so now we have all the caps on. I've got them in a rack. I've done this in a box as well. Um, you don't need any fancy equipment. And um, I've got them sitting in the rack at an angle. And what that does is that um, gives me more surface area when I go to inoculate these slants. Um, it gives me more surface area to get yeast on, you know, because you're going to be using a loop. And we'll talk about that more in the future, but um, for now, we just let these dry 
and um, set up so that the gelatin and the malt extract that we we've boiled uh, set up into a, it'll turn like malt extract jelly inside of these slants. Same thing with the petri dishes. Same same, same thing with the petri dishes. Just we're just um, putting a um, rubber band around rubber them. Band around them, and we're gonna let them set up. Um, interesting thing is you have to let these sit for a week. You let these sit for a week, and if nothing grows on them, um, nothing whatsoever grows, um, then you know you have nice, clean slants. If anything grows, put them in the dishwasher, wash them, start over. Um, that's it. That's, that's it for us, and we're out.